Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Ruben Kronig of Vineyard Time, and today I want to talk about the A11 military watches. We posted a picture of an A11 Bulova military watch to our Instagram feed a couple days ago. One of our collectors asked if I could go into a little detail about what the A11 was and what the history of it is. There's a little bit of confusion about this watch because some people wonder, was it a model? Was it a brand? And the answer is that it was a watch developed for the US military, specifically for the US Air Forces during World War II. And the watch was developed based on a contract spec sheet that the US military put out to different watch manufacturers. So the A11 was built on this criteria, but it wasn't just built by one brand. Elgin made them, Bulova made them, Waltham made them. At that time, US watchmaking was still a very powerful force in the worldwide landscape. So what happened was this spec sheet said what the watches needed to be. They needed to be super accurate. They needed to have a hacking second hand. That meant that when you pulled out the crown, the second hand would stop. And that was super important because it allowed military members and pilots to synchronize their watches right down to the second. The watches that didn't have that, you couldn't synchronize the same way. When you pulled out the crown, the second hand would keep ticking. So you couldn't really have two people have the exact same time. And that was one of the very important criteria of the A11 watch. So the A11 watch featured these different criteria. They had a similar sized case. They had similar drab military canvas straps. But depending on which manufacturer and when it was built, the A11 watches are slightly different. Though they were all Air Force issued, they might have slightly different hands or a slightly different dial. When you flip over the case back on the A11, you'll see the A11 reference and the contract numbers. Now there was another watch that was made very similarly to the A11. Those watches were made for the Army and different divisions that didn't necessarily need quite the same accuracy, but still needed high legibility and the ability to keep fairly accurate time. Those watches on the case back will have a contract number. So while both watches look very similar, they were meant for different divisions and slightly different tasks. Both watches are really interesting collectibles now. Though they are much smaller than what we traditionally wear as a collectible, they're more like 30 to 32 millimeters. They're really, really fascinating. And they're fascinating for a few reasons. They're fascinating because they have a really interesting and rich history that's based on our military. And they're fascinating because those soldiers wore those watches. So all those scars, what you're looking at, all those scratches, that patina, a lot of it was placed in wartime. This, the tricky thing about collecting the A11 and the different military contract number watches is that a lot of times throughout the period, both during the wartime and after, parts were interchanged. So finding one where it actually is how it left the factory with the correct dial, the correct hands, the correct case back, the correct strap can be a little bit trickier. Finding one that looks pretty authentic, that's based on original parts, there's quite a lot of them out there. The military made quite a lot of these watches as a contract piece. And because multiple brands made them, there was a quite a variety of slight variations between the different watches. You'll notice when you look at them that there's slightly different hands or a slightly different minute track or a slightly different case. Even though you'll also notice a lot of the similarities. They were brass plated cases. And you'll see that all of the watches have a very similar aesthetic. They're the same size, they have interchangeable straps, they have similar aesthetics, similar dials, similar hands. The similarities of the A11 cases and the military contract cases, there's a lot of interesting varieties to choose from. Plus the relatively affordable price point on the secondary collector's market, it's definitely a watch that's worth a look. Especially if you're just starting out collecting or if you're starting to be fascinated by military watches or vintage watches, it's one of those ones you should take a second look at. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed our video and we will have more exciting content for you shortly. Thanks so much.